Hi there, welcome to the Electronics Lab. In this video, I'm going to use LT Spice to do an AC analysis on this parallel RLC circuit. And I'm going to use a couple of tricks to help me. First, I'll show you some keyboard shortcuts to help me build the circuit. And this trick can actually be used for any circuit that you build. The second trick is specific to the circuit, and I'll show you how to measure the current from the source so that it gives you the proper phase. So the specific measurements I'll do with LT Spice for this circuit are to determine the voltage across the resistor, inductor, and capacitor. Of course, I don't really need LT Spice to help me with this because these components are all in parallel with the source. But I will need LT Spice to help me calculate the current through the resistor, current through the inductor, current through the capacitor, as well as the total current provided from the source. Okay, here we are in LT Spice. I'm going to open a new window, and now I can start placing components. And instead of using the menu up here, I'm just going to use the keyboard. So to place the voltage source, I can just hit the V key. I can hit the R key to place a resistor, the L key to place an inductor, and the C key to place a capacitor. I also have one more component to place, and that's my ground or my common reference. And if I hit G, that will give me the ground. Now I'll hit escape and then come up here to the wires and start wiring these components up. And then I can set the values of the components and the value for the voltage source. I need to go into advanced and I'm going to do an AC sweep. So I just need to set up the amplitude here, 120 volts. And remember I said there was going to be one more trick to help me measure the current coming from the voltage source. Well, the way that the voltage sources are configured, current is defined as flowing into the voltage source on the positive side. That's the wrong direction if I want the correct phase value. So what I'm going to do is place another resistor, a very low resistance resistor right here, and use that to measure the current coming from the voltage source. Now I need to rotate this resistor using control R. That looks like the right orientation, but I actually need to rotate it 180 degrees from this in order for the current to actually be defined as flowing left to right. So I'll rotate once, twice more, and then drop it there. Wire up this resistor. And I'm going to set the value of it to 1 milliohm. I could go smaller, but it actually kind of screws up the simulation a little bit. So 1 milliohm seems to be a good value that has very little effect on the circuit, but also allows LT Spice to do a proper simulation. Now I need to configure the simulation directive. So I can actually hit S, that'll bring up this text window. If I type in .ac and drop that down there, and then if I right click on it, that brings up this window for configuring the sweep. I'm gonna make it a linear sweep. I need two points. One of those is going to be at 60 hertz. The other one doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna do 61 because the only frequency I care about is at 60 hertz. And now I can simulate. Now, if I click on this node right here, that's gonna give me the voltage across the resistor, the inductor, and the capacitor. I'm going to reconfigure the vertical display so it displays in volts instead of dBV. So I can go right click on it and then go into linear. Okay, and now it gives me a measurement in volts. If I right click on the node name here and now drag the cursor all the way to the left, this will make a measurement at 60 Hertz which shows up in this window, which started off screen, but now you can see it here. And you can see the magnitude is basically 120 volts and the phase is basically zero degrees. And that's exactly what you'd expect because the source voltage is 120 volts with a phase angle of zero degrees. That's the only voltage that, that I care about. So I'm actually gonna go and delete that voltage, go back down to the schematic and then start clicking on components to give me the current measurements that I care about. So clicking on R2 will give me the current measurement coming from the source. Here's the current of the resistor. Here's the current through the inductor. And here's the current through the capacitor. Now I can right click on R2 to bring up the cursor for the current from the source. Drag the cursor all the way over to the left. And here's my current measurement, 639 milliamps with a phase angle of negative 41.3 degrees. Current through the resistor. 479.99, so basically 480 milliamps with a phase angle of 201 micro degrees, so that's basically zero degrees also. Inductor current, 489.7 milliamps with a phase angle of minus 90 degrees. And capacitor current, 67.86 milliamps with a phase angle of 90 degrees. And if you take a look down in the description for this video, there's a link to another video that solves this circuit by hand. And you can compare the results that I got there to the results that I'm getting here. And you'll find that they match up as you would expect. So in summary, here are the results.
I'd like to point out that this example came from a free online open source textbook, and you can find that textbook in the links in the description. That textbook contains multiple chapters on analyzing and understanding AC and DC circuits and includes links to other videos as well as practice problems. I'd like to say thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.